<clears throat> Yo, what is going on, you guys? It is your boy Gally, Gally Law, back again in your TV screens once again. Yeah, man, I got a cool little video for you guys. You guys know that every season, every once in a while, I like to update you guys on some low-key shooter brands that I've come across, um, just in my feed or just in general. So yeah, today I'm kind of kind of want to talk to you guys about some low-key streetwear brands in no particular order i think it's gonna be like a top 10 i think i have about 10 um maybe less maybe one more than 10 but yeah i kind of want to talk to you guys about some low-key streetwear brands that you know if you guys aren't hip i hope to you know put you guys on if you are hip already then hey my fault i'm sorry but with that being said uh before we go ahead and get into the video if you guys don't mind go ahead and hit the like button sharing subscribing hitting the noti bell you know all the good stuff to get the algorithms booming you know how that go also, if you guys want to follow me on IG, Twitter's and all that, you already know where to go, description below, you know. But yeah, with that being said, let's go ahead and get into the video. Boom. So like I said earlier, this is no particular order, but I do want to start with a local brand. Their streetwear brand is called, I mean, rather their clothing brand is called Bala Boys. That's B-A-L-L-A-B-O-Y-Z. You know, and their Instagram handle is BSB underscore fly. I'm gonna leave everything in the description below. And also I'm gonna provide some B footage with everything just to showcase to you guys on a video aspect, you know, so I can really see what they what they got on. But they got great ideas, great pieces. They actually just dropped a couple pieces that I bought. Uh, it was a tank top. I'm gonna go ahead and showcase that in a future video. But for right now, I kind of just wanna shout out their brand and tell you guys what they're about. They really got all, all sorts of things in their recent collection. I know they had a pair of socks white and black they had again a pair of tank tops they had a white one and a black one they also got a hoodie i believe i believe they got like a purple hoodie and a black hoodie on their site right now but yeah man they got really really dope stuff over there i definitely recommend you guys check it out again i'm gonna leave everything in the description below look out for them bottle boys man okay now moving on to the second brand the second brand is called carmen's place collective uh, their instagram handle is carmen's place co Co. Yeah, man, this is no particular order. I really just, I don't even know how I came across them. I think I just scrolling in my Instagram feed and I saw like a cool graphic. Um, I was just in the space looking for graphics and you know, they popped up. I looked at them and they weren't their usual graphics. You know, I mean, they look like standard graphics, but they had different images that I thought stood out a lot more than your typical graphic on tees. And they looked a lot more high quality from what I saw. Can't really back them up because I haven't you know, purchase the item so i can't really tell you the hands-on feeling of the item and pieces but from what i see they do put a lot of thought and effort into their pieces and yeah if you are indeed looking for a nice graphic piece i feel like this is the place to go okay moving on to the third brand the third brand is called their instagram handle is lost.sins world w-r-l-d for world um, I believe the clothing brand is just called Lost Sins. I ran into one of their graphic tees and it was like a Kanye graphic tee. Like it had Kanye's, the back of Kanye's head. As weird as it might sound, but I don't know. It looked cool in a white tee. Clicked their page and it had a title of the creator one. Excuse me. And they also had some sweatpants. They were pretty cool as well. Now, you know, unfortunately, most of those pieces are sold out. Uh, they also have some jewelry in there. I believe they had like some necklaces that were pretty cool. Had a pretty cool design. I haven't really kept too in touch with them so i can't tell you if they've been consistent in that aspect but you know the winter season is just around the corner so i feel like they're set to drop a new collection yeah lost sense definitely another brand to check out and yeah with that being said let's go ahead and move on to the fourth brand okay so the next brand is called drought um their instagram handle is came up in the drought i i got put on by this brand by d savage i just saw him i guess seeing him in a in a in one of his performances rolling loud i think he just had like one of their beanies i don't know how i came across their brand i don't know how i found out what it was but boom i saw their brand i think he was i think it was like tagged on it or something and saw the instagram page and i instantly gravitated to this internet explorer t like it literally just had the internet explorer logo on a standard white t and it was just kind of like this oversized look on a model that they had shown and for some reason like i just really like that 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 vibe you know and that style is kind of what i'm on right now kind of that baggy kind of skateboard fit but also leaning to that streetwear type style that i really appreciate apart from the internet explorer t they 
specialized from what I've seen. They got a couple sets of jewelry pieces from necklaces to bracelets. They also, you know, offer socks. They got some truckers, like every other clothing brand. And they also popped out with, I believe, a set of denim jorts, which who wasn't popping out with denim jorts. I believe they had a white pair and a black pair. So very, very on par with, you know, what's trendy right now. And they just add their own little sauce to it. Well, you know the vintage technology and just vintage look and whatnot um so yeah that is drought okay so for the next brand it is man this is a tough one to pronounce so bear with me please it is Sejuri studios i'm going to spell it out for you guys s-e-d-u-i-r-e -E studios this brand i have no idea how i ran into them but I did screenshot a long sleeve shirt that was really like crop, but not so crop. And really what, what, what made me really like this brand was their top to bottom ratio. As far as, you know, their top was crop and their bottom was, you know, sort of baggy, which is kind of on par with, what, with, with what's on style nowadays and what I'm really gravitated to in my own own style and wardrobe so yeah a lot of their tees and you know just shirts in general are and do offer that cropness look but they do have a couple sweatpants that are you know baggy on that balenciaga type style they had this one i know they had this one jersey that was pretty nice as well i just i just i've been it was like a football jersey i've been really you know looking for a nice vintage football jersey a very not a super oversized one but a just right one they also have a lot of items for women they have a lot of crop items for women yeah that is sejur studios again i'm gonna spell it out for you guys s-e-d-u-i-r-e -E studios Cool, cool, cool little clothing brand, clothing brand that um, I'm definitely looking forward to possibly purchasing in the foreseeable future. And yeah, with that being said, let's go ahead and move on to the next brand. Okay, so the next brand is called War Paint. Um, how I came across them is just another Instagram ad. I remember because I was in looks for this like polo type look and they just happened to pop out. It was kind of like this, not oversized polo look but it's kind of trendy crop polo type style that that really remind me of the u.s polo from the from like they had the number super big polo on the right and it had like it was like jersey had like germany in the back or had their had japan one they had a mexican mexico jersey type one with that being said they had polo style shirt that they dropped it was a white one and a blue one i definitely wanted something to like pop out you know to like parties or special occasions but i didn't want to look too casual i kind of wanted something different and i feel like this really fit that whole idea that I had in my head. So yeah, I was looking for it, but I was gonna get it. The time frame that I needed it for the event, I feel like when I purchased the piece, it wasn't gonna get here in that same amount of time. You know, sometimes it takes, they say three to five business days, sometimes it takes three to five weeks, and I, you know, I didn't wanna take that gamble. So I opted not to get the shirt, but yeah, they're definitely updating and definitely still, you know, dropping new pieces and collections. So Warpaint is definitely a clothing brand to keep tabs on and let's go ahead and move on to the next brand the next one is called la femme bro. la femme i believe they're from the uk team and that you know i feel like they're from the overseas team and that you get me bro but yeah man they offer a lot of distinct distinct pieces and very high class high fashion very pristine type pieces like you could just tell they got quality behind their pieces just looking at their page in general i mean looking at back now they have a super dope leather jacket that just looks looks nice looks very classy leather looks great it looks like it's very very high quality and that goes not just for that but you know other pieces they also offer accessories such as watches not just their clothing pieces but the way they advertise it and they market and they showcase all their clothing brand and pieces it looks very very aesthetically pleasing to the eye especially for like you know my perspective i'm really you know into that whole art type style i really like how people present their own clothing brands in a unique way and i feel like la femme does that 
very very well but aside from that they have a lot of dope dope pieces for a reasonable amount of price and i feel like you are getting a bang for your buck because the quality on these clothes can just show yeah they got like i said you know accessories such as watches which they collaborated with g-shaw they got hoodies they got leather jackets they got you know sweatpants cargos they got denim jorts they got you know your regular tees they got sort of like these vests that are really popular right now kind of tank top vests la femme is a very very dope dope clothing brand that i feel like is is, is is a hidden gem and i think a lot of people will definitely appreciate what they got going on so i'm definitely looking forward to shopping there and getting a few pieces myself even though i don't i can't back them up you know from a first-hand perspective i definitely know you know just from a visual perspective they have a lot to offer and they got me so yeah, that is La Femme, and let's go ahead and move on to the next brand. This brand is called Very Filthy Shit. The Very Filthy Project, that was their Instagram handle. But yeah, filthy, I guess, is really their main... No, it's veryfilthyshit.com. That's, <laughs> that's their website name. So, so yeah, bro, these guys these guys are just like La Femme. La Femme is actually has more followers than these guys, but these guys are too low-key. Like, I don't even... I was a little hesitant even putting these people on this right now because these are so like these guys are so nice with it bro like on the whole like i said the art visual perspective the way they market their stuff and advertise their stuff to their website how it looks they just have their own unique style which makes them you know sets them apart from your usual standard clothing brand especially you know seeing everything nowadays is being the same repetitive stuff seeing something like you know filthy or filthy got going on is very and a breath of fresh air but yeah they offer all sorts of things from jerseys to jackets to hoodies to sweatpants to shorts to hats to dad hats to beanies to windbreakers you know they got all sorts of things and they also offer one of ones you know that are gonna come in a higher price but you know they're one of ones so filthy shit got a whole bunch of dope shit man no pun but like i was saying like when something is sold out they got like instead of saying sold out it says this shit sold out you know so kind of the little things like that kind of sets them apart like i said from your regular regular clothing brand and yeah they offer stuff from all sorts of sizes from all different genders but yeah very filthy shit beyond words breath of fresh air what more can i say great brand and you're welcome so if you guys aren't put on already now you know let's go ahead and move on to the next brand so finishing up this video these last two brands are brands that i, I actually came up put on myself i actually went to i believe it was Saks or nordstrom and they definitely from what i saw just in the store is definitely something that captivated me and got my interest high on the brand so much so that i had to take a picture of the tag and research them myself so yeah man i really don't go shopping outside no more really just because i've been getting all of my stuff from you know social media i guess i haven't been looking at the right places so i just so happened to look at the right place boom came across these 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 pieces and here we are so the first brand is called coney island picnic i actually picked up one of their hoodies um i plan on doing a pickers video soon so i'm going to showcase that in that video but they got some super super dope crew necks they got some really cool hoodies that i feel like is great for the winter season and their graphics aren't doing too much they're they're very subtle but in the same time they got that oomph, that impact that that you want you know to make some action in your wardrobe and the colors they have are very universal in my opinion and yeah i feel like coney island picnic is a nice little clothing brand to shop with when you know you just want to see something different they got a lot of nice pieces like i said and they don't break the bank as well i feel like their prices are very reasonable so yeah that's that and let's go ahead and move on to the last brand okay and the last brand is called jungles jungles let me make sure it is yes it is jungles jungle that is their instagram name as well and jungles jungles is i came across in the same store i came across their one of their hoodies it was this pink hoodie i forgot what it was called but essentially it had like different wording all around the hoodie and it kind of looked like tattoos they had one like right here right here right here right here and different images to go along with them as well it was pink with blue um font lettering color it was like a pink like ash wash on the hoodie and yeah man came across them had to take a picture of the tag came across them online and their whole aesthetic was very very on par with what i'm 
got going on right now. Like I said, their hoodie was very different, very nice. Kind of reminded me of another brand that I saw. Yeah, Jungles Jungles is very, very, I guess I would say high quality and complex type garments and type pieces. Yeah, just overall, I feel like this brand just gives you everything. Like I said, they got jackets, hoodies, a lot of good stuff to prepare you for the winter season which is why you know it's something that i'm looking for right now they also have a lot of different color and color variations to choose from which is definitely something good to you know just put a little color into your wardrobe and i'll definitely put them on par with the filthies that i put on today and the la Femmes and even the coney island ones just great high quality brands that check all the boxes across the board and, and offer that versatility but yeah man with that being said um i think that's gonna go ahead and do it for the i think the 10 low-key streetwear brands if it's not 10 the low-key streetwear brands i got for you guys today like i said i like to do these once in a while once every blue moon you know once every six months or just you know every season but yeah with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed the video definitely plan on you know keeping the consistency going i've been dropping every three weeks but i really want every week but it's just really hard man with that being said I'll go ahead and see you guys on the next video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Love you guys and see you hopefully next week. <laughs>